Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is TV, yes, you heard me right, TV like a television. And today I am so excited to show you guys all of the new skincare products that I have recently purchased. I've been so inspired by these YouTubers named Hiram and Susan Yara. If you are interested in skincare at all, definitely check out their channels because they are definitely the experts in this subject and there is so much to learn from them. They are so informative and very knowledgeable on the topic of skincare. As for myself, I've always been interested in the topic of skincare since I was in high school and today I am 27 years old which I know is kind of a shocker to some people because nobody ever seems to believe that I am 27 years old since I apparently look younger than my age but surprise I am 27 and I'm always looking to learn new things and really just trying to build on my knowledge. In fact, I used to work for a beauty company specializing in marketing for their skincare brand so through that experience I really learned that I am extremely passionate about skincare and it's a topic that really excites me so I'm just so excited to show you guys what I bought recently and all the new products that I'm so excited to add into my skincare routine. Everything mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box below so that you guys can find it easier. Just to let you know they are affiliate links in case you decide to purchase anything. And yeah, so let's get started and show you guys what I got. All right, so we're gonna start off with sunscreen and what I have right here is the Bee Shield sunscreen, which I already opened up to use because I ran out of sunscreen, so I couldn't wait to use it. This one is by Crave and so far I've been using it for a week. I like it, but it's definitely not my favorite one. I feel like it's a bit heavier than I like it, but it definitely is a very good sunscreen because it doesn't leave a white cast and it doesn't sting my eyes like a lot of other sunscreens do. So I would recommend this one, but if you're looking for something lightweight, I wouldn't recommend this. This isn't my favorite and I'm still on the hunt for the best sunscreen. So if you guys have any suggestions, definitely let me know, but this is still a very good one. Next up, I have the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen and what I really like about this is that it's made of a clear consistency which is similar to my favorite sunscreen that got discontinued so I've been trying to find something similar to it. This is SPF 40 and I've heard a lot of good things about this so I'm really excited to try it. I also bought another item from the brand Super Goop. It is a SPF 30 lip balm with a minty flavor. And I never really use SPF on my lips at all, but I figured it's very important because my cousin back in the day actually did really get a bad sunburn on her lips. So yeah, definitely something I need to add to my routine. Next up is the Peace Out Pores. These are four nose strips. I usually don't use pore strips because they dry really hard on your skin and then when you pull it off they're super painful and they're definitely not good for your skin at all but I've heard that these ones are a lot more gentle on your skin. It's not so tugging so I definitely want to try it out because I've heard good recommendations about these. There are only four, so I'm gonna try them. If not, on to the next. Next up on my list is this Tarte Moisturizer, and it's actually one of my favorite moisturizers. It feels extremely lightweight on my skin, and I just like things that feel very lightweight. And it also has almost like a clear consistency. There's a little bit of a blue tone to it, but you can barely tell. And it definitely keeps my skin very hydrated and moisturized, but it doesn't feel heavy at all. It is called 
drink of H2O. I really like this because it is considered a clean product at Sephora. That's really important to me because I do like to stick on the cleaner side of things, especially when it comes to skincare. I don't want to put bad ingredients on my skin or chemicals that are toxic and very harmful. Obviously, that's going to make your skin worse. So I do look into the ingredients very closely when it comes to my skincare and I just do my best to try to stick to as clean of products as possible. Here I have a makeup cleansing oil, which I have no idea how to pronounce this brand. So I'm just gonna leave this right here for you guys to look at and then link it down below. This bottle was recommended by Susan Yara and I am very interested to try this out because I've been looking for really good makeup removers. This is apparently a great alternative to makeup wipes, especially since I've ditched using makeup wipes way long ago since they are so bad for your skin but I do use it once in a while when I am extremely desperate to clean off my makeup. 99% of the time I am not using makeup wipes so I'm always looking for a great makeup cleanser and I'm definitely very interested to try this one out. Another makeup remover item that I bought is this Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I've heard so many great reviews about this. This was recommended by Susan Yara and it also has the Best of Beauty Allure Award on it which is like a huge stamp of approval by many people and I've previously used the Clinique cleansing balm when it was really popular back in the day and that actually worked amazingly as well but this product has a lot cleaner ingredients in it so I'm really excited to try it because I actually heard it's better than the Clinique one. Here is what it looks like. It is a pretty decently sized bottle. It is 3.4 ounces but it'll last me a long time because I don't really wear makeup that often except for special occasions so this will definitely last me a while and I can't wait to try it out. Next up are the Zit Stickers. Well, that's what the brand is called, but they're also Zit Stickers, get it? I think that's a very clever name for the brand, and I also think their packaging is really cute too. It says, say hi to your next exit strategy get it sorry that took me so long to read because i'm like trying to show you guys but it's so hard for me to see it on camera but yeah i think the packaging is so cute and then it just comes with this little card right here and instructions on how to use the zip packages if you have a zit you put them on your pimples or whatever it is and it's supposed to just make it disappear or at least make it significantly smaller and help it heal a lot quicker than just leaving it or popping it so i'm really excited to try these i have tried another brand before and the other brand was kind of a hit or miss sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't but i've heard that these ones might be a lot better because when i was looking into the ingredients it looked like this product has a higher concentration of a lot of the beneficial ingredients that will help fight off pimples so i think these ones will work a lot better at least i hope so now, last but not least i am so excited to show you guys these two items but i purchased two products from the brand notorium if you haven't heard of notorium yet it is a new skincare brand by susan yara and it recently just launched and there are so many great ingredients in the products which I am super extremely excited to try. I've heard so many great things about her brand and her products and I haven't really heard anything bad. This brand was also approved by Hiram which is a huge person in the skincare community so if it's approved by Hiram it's definitely something that I want to test out. I got the Marine Hyaluronic Water Cream which is a moisturizer and when I did research into it it has 
a similar consistency to the Tarte moisturizer that I was talking about earlier, which is my all-time favorite moisturizer. So I'm hoping this one lives up to the hype. This one also has a lot of really good ingredients for your skin. And all the products from this brand are just so affordable, which really shows people that you don't have to pay premium prices to have high quality, good skincare products. Here is the water cream. And this is what the jar looks like. It out for you in this blue container right here also from Natorium is this vitamin C super serum plus it has vitamin C in it vitamin A hyaluronic acid niacinamide and salicylic acid I believe that's how you pronounce it I could be wrong sorry I'm just really bad at pronouncing things sometimes but here it is and it has a ton of these great ingredients packed into this one product this is the item i am most excited about because i've never used all of these ingredients in one product before in fact i don't even think i've ever seen a product that has all these beneficial ingredients in it so this is new to me and i am hoping for a lot of positive results and those are all the new items that I have to show you guys from my skincare haul. I'm hoping to add a lot of these products to my daily skincare routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to stick around and watch more videos on my channel. And I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye!